Hi, I'm Laura Kelly and I'm an artist. One of my jobs as an artist is to create designs for companies to use on their product. A really fun licensing agreement that I'm currently working with is Expressionary.com. Expressionary is a stationary site where you can go and get your personality put onto your paper on a variety of really fun products. One of the products that they carry right now are the paper people, the little people that I drew, to be able to um, put into different formations to create your family or your friendships in a really fun way. This is a family's Christmas card with their matching return address labels. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take these products and we're going to use them to recycle and recreate them into a craft project. And what we're going to be making is going to be a Christmas ornament. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a clear glass ornament and some paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glass ornament that I just bought at a local craft store. I'm going to take off the top and I'm going to open up my paint. I'm going to pour the paint right into the inside of the ornament and put the top back on. You don't need too much paint. You can always start out with what you think is about right and if it's not enough you can add more. If you get too much in there you'll have a big mess on your hands. If you're going to do this with kids you probably want to practice once first and see about how much paint is the right amount for you. Then you're going to shake it up. And as you shake it, it's going to actually paint the interior of the glass ornament. After you're done painting the glass ornament, it's going to look a lot like this. And your next step is going to be to cut out your characters, your little paper people from your note card. So you're going to carefully cut around each one. And I'm going to do Josie first. And once you have her cut the way you want her to look, the next step is going to be to get her to stick to your ornament. The way we're going to do that is with a gloss sealant. It's kind of like a glue. And we're just going to paint right on the outside of the ornament. After you have a pretty solid thin coat, you're going to take your little person, your paper person, and stick her right on top. And then you want to put another coat on top. Once she's on there pretty good, you can really move your brush around to get the texture and the, the final stroke lines that you're going to want to show up because when it dries, it'll be clear, but you'll still be able to see a little bit of the stroke lines if you look carefully. So you want to be careful and do it the way you want to do it. And then you're going to put it to the side to let it dry. After your ornament's all dry and she's all sealed carefully onto your glass ornament, your next step is to do your polka dots. I'm going to do them in white. I'm going to use a little tiny brush. I can usually get the paint right out of the cap because there's always a little bit in there. When you don't need much, that's a great way to not have to pour it out and waste any paint. And I'm going to put my little polka dots all around the outside. And then once again, I'm going to set my ornament to the side to let it dry. All right, the last step to get your ornament to be complete is to put the little hanger on and do a decorative fun touch to, to complete it. I have a piece of wire and a piece of red ribbon and a little wooden ball that I painted black with white polka dots, just kind of a signature thing that I try to put on a lot of my different products just to make them fun. This is what the wooden ball looked like before I started. And a little tip when you're painting these so that you can make it easier for yourself, I tend to put them on a wire and be able to paint it on the wire so that um, they don't have to roll around and get the paint on everything. I'm going to put the wire through the bead and bend it so it doesn't come off. And then we're going to tie the ribbon in the middle also to the wire, just in a knot for right now. So it's going to look like this. Then we're going to slide the bead through the front of the ornament. It's important that it goes to the front because you don't want the wire to show on the front when you're done. When you bend the wire up, you're just going to twist it closed like that. The final step is to tie your bow.
voila, you've got your ornament. I'm gonna bend it around to get it a hook. You can add it to another Christmas hook or you can just use this as your hook, whatever works best for you. And I'm gonna add it to the wreath to complete the family. And there you have it, a really fun family wreath made from your note cards from Expressionary.com. So have a super, very merry, happy Christmas and have fun creating.